This video shows you how to determine the unknown IP address of a device. In my case, the device is an IP camera connected directly to a laptop via Ethernet cable. If I have a look at local area connections. can see the IP address of my laptop 192.168.1.100 the IP address of that camera is fixed but completely different different subnet So in order to find out what the IP address is, I use a software called Wireshark. Wireshark is a network protocol analyzer that can be downloaded free of charge from the internet. Just make sure you go to the right website, wireshark.org. Download the installer for your operating system. In my case, I've already done that, so I'll just cancel that. Start Wireshark. Click on Capture, Interfaces. And I've got several interfaces here. First one is my wired Ethernet port. Second one is the wireless card. Then I've got the VPN adapter here and then I've got a virtual machine here. So obviously the camera is connected to that wired Ethernet port so that's what I'm interested in. So what I need to do now is start capturing. There's not a lot going on there at the moment. So that's one trick. I just unplug the camera, plug it back in again. And there's a whole lot of traffic going on here now. So now you can see, I'll just stop that for now. You can see this, um, the source here is 192.168.1.100, which is obviously a laptop. This one here, there's no IP address at the moment. But you can see the D link, and the camera has a D link, and that's the rest of a MAC address. It's doing a broadcast. Mm -hmm. It's trying to find the gateway which is 10.20.30.254, that's the gateway. And just behind that I can see the IP address of that camera, which is 10.20.30.40. So if I just go and to web browser, key in 10.20.30.40, not a lot will happen. Of course, that camera is still in a different subnet. So basically, unreachable. So, what I need to do now go to local area connection. Properties. And change my own IP address. To 10. And 100.
each IP address needs to be unique. And for one device to be able to connect to another device it, without a router, it needs to be in the same subnet. Subnet mask in this case doesn't matter really. I'll just click OK. Let's have a look at the details again. Now I've changed the IP address of my laptop temporarily to one that's definitely in the same subnet. Let's close this. Minimize that. And I've still got the IP address here. And previously I could not reach that camera, but now it just comes up with the uh, login screen. I just key in the credentials and click apply. And there's my camera. So now I can go through the settings without necessarily changing the IP address and uh, subnet mask and so forth. And once I finished, I just put that camera back to where it was before and changed the IP address of my laptop back to what it was before and job done.